will be rolling. Oh, I'm dropping. Kind of dropping. Ah, it looks pretty good. Uh, if it's not looking too good, um, let me know. I can turn down the bit rate, but I think it should be fine for the most part. Or at least it looks like it. Let me know if the audio is off also. Still dropping frames. It doesn't look bad. So I guess uh, I set up, got the software a few days ago, set up a new camera, decided, kind of was curious how many people would tune in if I did a live stream type event. So I guess that's, this is that event. Um, uh, but currently my computer is running pretty well. I have the video encoding rate pretty high, but if the video starts to like lose a bunch of frames and isn't very continuous, just let me know in chat or something. I can probably turn it down. Also, I had some audio issues, but it should be lined up with the video, so hopefully that works out. Um, for this one, I guess I'm just going to do some practice, probably, and answer questions from the chat. Maybe do some, whatever, pretty much whatever kind of people are looking for. I could do, like, walkthrough stuff or tips and stuff, um, in kind of conjunction on top of, like, people had more questions about Tuesday tips or whatnot. Um, yeah. Let's see. Got back from Portland, the... The last night, uh, pretty okay competition. Got the North American record for 5x5 five five single, 46-0. Then the solve after, I got a 46-6, which is pretty disappointing because it was the last two solves, and I was already counting up 53 or 50. I was counting a 56 and a 58, which is pretty awful. And then I counted the 46. So, I mean, singles were good. Uh, nothing really else of note. 3x3 three three was pretty normal. First round was bad, but then I got two eight averages. Four by four was kind of unfortunate because I got pretty lucky and then kind of screwed them all up. So I got thirty one flat and like a thirty point eight. But uh, yeah, the five the really the two five by five singles were the only thing worth noting. So uh, yeah, uh, I got two weeks off, and then Vancouver right now. Yeah, Vancouver's in three weeks, and then Soco Cubing is in four weeks. So. That is what's next. Okay, one second. It does look better. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna mess with this screen real quick. Alright, we should be back. Uh, it should be a lot smoother now. Hopefully, I'm not dropping nearly as many frames, but I think it should be good. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll. Oh, a lot of this chat is kind of spam fest. Okay, um, let's see. I'm still dropping frames. Okay, oh well. Uh, does it look noticeably worse? If someone could let me know. Um, it should look pretty much the same, hopefully. Uh, I'm still running pretty good, I hope. Let's see. Oh man, that was, uh, that was some high quality. Let's see, will you ever try to beat Felix 7x7 seven seven World? I don't, I don't know what that means. I'm currently, I won World Champs the last two times it was held, so more real that sounds like. Let's 
So I'm current world champ in 7x7, and I was world champ in Vegas in 2013. So, uh, I mean, he would have to beat me at Worlds is the current what's going on. So uh, as for the world record, yeah, I think I can get 222. Um, I'm going to get a new 7 by 7 soon from Brendan Valance. He's going to mod a Yushin for me. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But I still think I can get under 220 with um, the current cube I have. 6 by 6 is my favorite event. Um, I don't know. It's what, been what I've been good at. It's been what I've been good at for uh, years. First world record, first national title, first world title. Um, had the most world record. I just what I'm good at. And I know like a ton of specific stuff right now. Like... The, I have like way too much random 6x6 six six knowledge. Oh god. Uh, nothing like doing 5 pairs and 2 OLs. There's a new 7x7 seven seven world record. Um, yeah, there was... I mean, the guy who got that... I mean, his second best solve was like 20 seconds slower. So I mean, that's just a classic example of he got pretty lucky, but I mean... Getting lucky is not a crime, and that happens, so uh, I still think it's pretty beatable, so. Who do you think will be podium at 6 and 7 in World Champs? Um, oops. Uh, let's see, we're going to go for order. Well, without order, Felix and me will be... One, two, and six and seven almost guaranteed. Uh, third place and six, I really, I don't know really. Um, I don't, there's like straight up no one can contend with me in Felix and six. Uh, seven by seven, same. Lin Chen and the Asian dude that just set the world record aren't going. And same with Vladislav and Matteo, it's kind of unfortunate, but uh, I don't know how could get third, I guess. Uh, but yeah, me and Felix are going to take one, two, like fairly guaranteed, which is pretty expected. I feel like the new 7 by 7 world record might be a misscramble. Yeah, like every big Q world record is a misscramble at the point. Like, they're all misscrambles. The WC doesn't require them to be correct. Um, it's not a big deal if it was a misscramble. Like, like that's kind of how it works. So no, like that's not a big deal. Um, the amount of luckiness you can get from a scramble is very limited. And most of the luck in a solve comes like from random stuff happening during the solve. So that's like hardly an issue. Oh, nice PLS with 11. Any man, certainly. I mean, I hand I for three right three right on hand scramble. Uh, I only hand scramble because I'm like reading the chat while I'm scrambling. Uh, I hand scramble most things though. Like I hand scramble five, six, seven, which six and seven is like I don't think it's a big deal. Five, five, I probably should actually scramble, but that's like I'm just lazy. Wait, do people think the sound is delayed? I don't know, it might have been. Have you changed how you set up your Yushin Red? Uh, no. I mean, I, I haven't set one up in like a long time, obviously, because I've been using the same one for a very long time. So yeah, I mean, I'm still using the same one. I recently uh, cleaned it out and took it apart, and oh, oh yeah, I cleaned it out. Uh, I accidentally put in too much Traxxas. Pretty much what I do, cleaned it out, I retensioned it. Um, put in, I've used been using Traxxas in Mario. I uh, I originally had too much, I had too much uh, the DNM lube in it, and the DNM stuff doesn't really wear out, which I guess is kind of the point. But um, it was like it uh, 
like it got too fast and I couldn't like get it to slow down, which is unfortunate. So I had to clean it out, which took forever. And it, but yeah, I would recommend only using Traxxas and uh, Maru because the Traxxas and Maru, like, don't use too much Traxxas, that's also really bad. But Maru, at least, you can't really use too much because at the worst case, you just wait for it to dry out. I'm practicing 3 by 3 Bill, because I'm going to beat you in Nationals and Worlds. You're, uh, you're looking at the new world champ right here. Second place, Max Park. Third place, Felix. First place, KT Hayes. Any ammunition in the future has black. Are they all already out in black plastic? I'm pretty sure they are. Like, I think you can get them on the cubicle in black plastic. I think that's how it works. I saw them. Let me check that. Let me check out with this new, uh... Let's see, okay. Alright. The cubicle.us, now that I have these super fancy overlays and whatnot. Um... Yeah, look, they're all black. Like the options are all in black, so you can get them all in black. But yeah, so you can do that. Uh, CS timer will load. All right. Do you have the Valg M? Um, yeah, I have the Valg M. Uh, it's a pretty good cube, but I don't. I like the GTS 2M a lot more. I'm using the GTS 2M now. It really helps me out with like consistency in my averages, especially in competition. So I really like that. The Valg M is also good, but I just don't. I don't like it as much for me. As you can see, I'm really good at three by three. <laughs> um, this is the GTSM standard, not the light version. Uh, the light version is also pretty good, but I find it to be a little bit too fast. Oops. The best, the best cube ever. I mean, B cube six, obviously. Like, B cube six is uh, you know, you only had to put like twenty hours into modding it. It like worked great every time. It never popped. Like. They really haven't developed anything quite like it. How's my job at Microsoft? It's pretty nice. I like it a lot. Um, works interesting. Uh, very flexible, which allows me to go to a lot of competitions, which is really nice. Um, yeah. Oh, I almost got a six. Why did you start... Eight seconds. Oh, Twelve seconds. Have you ever considered learning to be car neutral? Yeah, I tried to be car neutral for like a month or something, but then that was like way too much effort. I'm too old for that. You can't, uh, like it's too late to start. Well, it's not really too late to start, but it just takes forever. And like the the benefits on six on big cubes are obviously less relative to the benefits on three by three, so I thought it wasn't worth it. Uh, do I still swim? Um, no. Uh, I quit. I finished. Was it two years ago? Oh my god, it was like two years ago now. My last meet was like two years ago. Um, that's like when I graduated college. Yeah, my last meet was February of my senior year of college, so I don't swim anymore. I used to swim breaststroke and some sprint free, though. I wasn't that great. Valk M or Gans UN Premium? Uh, um, I don't know. They're pretty... If I was going to recommend one, I'd de definitely say it's personal preference. But I personally you like the Valk M a little more. I'm not sure. I have them both. Let's see, where are they? 
Oh wait, I gave away my Gans, my Valcam. My Gans Air is still pretty nice. I mean, my best time ever is actually on the Gans Air. Wait, this isn't the magnetic one. I don't know what I do with the magnetic one. Oh well. Well, my best time is actually on the Gans UM. Uh, I got a 5.02, which is kind of annoying because I was like a 4. Yeah, this is magnetic. Um, how did you last 6x6 six last two centers? So I'm sure, like, tutorial videos on how to actually solve something is not, like, kind of my thing. Uh, there are plenty of people that can teach you how to solve the centers. I'll kind of, like, feel like it'd be... Like, there are plenty of people that make better quality tutorial videos that, like, can explain things very well and easily, and they should do... They can do those type of tutorials. And then I'll do the tutorials where... Like, that are specific to me, where, like, the expertise of how to actually do really fast 6x6 centers, as opposed to just how to do them. Which is the whole point of Tuesday Tips. Oh, I have to film some more of those. Oh, wait, no, I have to film some next week. Oh, man. Do you mind signing... Autographs and competitions. No, it's fine. Um, like in general, it's fine as long as people are like respectful of like the fact that I'm not there primarily to sign autographs. Like, like I'll sign if I'm not busy. I'll sign anything for anyone. Take photos and stuff. It's not a big deal. Um, this is only times when like it, when it's not appropriate. Like if I'm sitting down to compete, once a judge asks me to sign something, and I was like, that's not. Like, this isn't an appropriate time, or like, while I'm up behind, like, getting my cube scrambled, I'm like about to go. But like, if I'm just hanging out without headphones in, uh, yeah, feel free to ask me for stuff like that. It's not a big deal. Do you have the Wukwe M? Uh, no. Um, I should probably get one just to see what it's like, but I like my Yushin Blue 4. Um, uh, I really like this cube. It's great. Uh, I have like a couple of 28 average 12s on it, but. Apparently, I'm not really that motivated to switch, but I guess I should probably try it out in Four Worlds just to see what all the what all the hubbub's about. Like the Wuji Seven, um, I mean, the Wuji pretty good. It's a uh, like I don't really like to be honest. The, both the Yuzhen Seven and the Wuji Seven aren't the greatest. They're more on the ends of the spectrum of like opposite ends based on the kind of company style. Like the Wuji and a lot of the Chi Qs are a little more kind of uh, they're like they they're like kind of clicky. I don't know, they're not clicky, like a little more scratch. Crunchy, yeah. They're a little more crunchy, and they turn a little slower while Yushin's kind of has more, like, raw speed. And usually they both end up being pretty solid, but the Wuji is way too slow and very crunchy, and the Yushin's a little too fast and has a lot of speed. Um, me, personally, I like the speed aspect more. It's kind of more dependent on who you are. I definitely like the Yushin 7 because of the speed aspect, but I think they both can be a lot better. And the Yushin doesn't, uh, Yushin doesn't really break, so that's kind of a big thing going for it. Also, uh, Brennan Valance said he has a mod that makes the Yushin 7x7, like, amazing, and he's gonna make one for me, which is really nice. Brennan, if you didn't know, won Worlds in, oh shoot, 2009? World Champ 09, I think. And so, he's like, he also is, like, insanely good at modifying cubes. It's, like, pretty amazing. He's the only person I, like, reliably trust to modify a cube really well. So, if he says it's really good, I believe him, and I'm pretty excited to get that. Oh man, this is bad. What two do you? Oh my god, god, whose freaking account is this? I can't click on people's YouTube accounts. I'm not gonna answer Marlon's questions though. Uh, 
Wow, you do nine cubic puzzles more. Mostly because, um... Uh... I don't, I, I don't practice them because I'm not good at them. It's kind of like a cycle, like... I just cubing stopped being like kind of like a fun hobby a while ago and more of something I'm like really competitive at. So I kind of started only doing the things that I'm good at and I like doing the things I'm good at more. So especially now, like it'd be kind of a waste of time to practice anything else, especially with worlds coming up so soon. Like I'm really only practicing events that I have a chance to do well at worlds at. Well, I guess I'm also practicing four and three, which I don't really have a chance, but that's mostly for fun. Like, my for fun events are, like, one-handed, which I'm still, like, okay-ish. How many world records have you broken at home? Like, how many times have I broken the official world record unofficially? Like, for 6x6, I don't know, like, a thousand? Like, if I do three solves in a row on 6x6, the mean of three will be under the world record. So if I do a hundred solves, that's, like, what, like, 97 mean of threes under the world record? So, yeah, I mean, like, that's a... I, I I always like I my global average is a lot faster than the world record, so that'll happen. Uh shoot. Oh man, not good, not good. I got a stickered version of the Wuji and the stickers trip really easy. Yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about that. Cause, yeah. What do you think about magnetic big cubes? I mean, I think they're pretty interesting. I tried, I tried a magnetic Wuxuang, the Chi 5x5, and I, I don't know, I didn't really get the height. I, magnetics cubes, I'm not completely sold on magnetic stuff in general. It's more of a case by case basis. Like, I like the Yushin Blue that I'm using right now, but I don't know. I'm not going to say, like, a, making a blanket statement saying that, like, magnetic cubes are always better is kind of ridiculous to me. Um, especially because I like my 5x5 a lot right now anyways. Like, it's really nice. Uh, I get really good times with it, so. Although, I'm getting the new Yushin prototype very soon, which I'm really excited about. Oh, 26. It's not even good. I heard uh, he gets nervous. Do you think you get the 5 of 5 world record average? Um, and it's still really fast. 49.3 is pretty tough. Um, we'll see. It's certainly not impossible anymore. But I mean, it'd be something I'd really like to do because I've never had a 5 of 5 world record. That's like the only thing I've never had that I've really wanted. But it's going to take a pretty good round. So I got a lot of rounds coming up though. So we'll see. What is your opinion on fidget spinners? <laughs> I don't know, they're pretty weird. Uh, I didn't buy this disclaimer. I definitely did not pay money for one of these things. Uh, Bill from the cubicle just sent this to me. Uh, I kind of just showed up in my mailbox. Um, I don't know, I don't really get the point. Like, I don't know, they spin really well. Like This will go for like three minutes, despite being really annoying. So uh, I don't really... They're just like a weird Facebook like marketing craze or something. But yeah. What's your global 6x6 average? Um, probably like 131. Um, I have a 131.0 average of 12. That was from a while ago though. I've gotten a lot better. I need to sit down and do like a focused average of 12. Because I got, I think I can get one under 130. I got a 130.1 average of 10. And then I screwed it up. It was like a 131 mid average of 12 or something. So uh, I think I can get under 130 average of 12. But globally, probably like 131. What make are you using right now? Uh, literally just the default one that came with um, my computer. Which is a service book, I guess. So like I literally just clicked like default microphone array to select it.
Oh, it's okay. How do you turn so six and seven so quickly without lockups? Oh, that's because I grew up on V cubes, and if you turned V cubes poorly, your cube would just like explode. So now I have really accurate turning, and uh, I also think that's the reason why a lot of newer cubers um, prefer like the Mofangi cubes. Uh, because they can't control the Yushin stuff because they're really bad at turning because they've only used these nice cubes like so their turning style got coddled and like they turn like awfully uh, so they can't even use, like they can't control the Yushin stuff even though if you can it's a lot faster so um, yeah learn use like V cubes or something <laughs> how many seven by seven saws do I do each week uh, I don't know I probably should. Um, I probably should do more, especially because Worlds is coming up, and I haven't really practiced too much 7. I've been doing mostly 6 and 5, but I need to do a lot more. What do you think the limit for global 6x6 average is? Uh, definitely under 120. Like, um, I'm probably about, like, there's still, hardware can get a little bit better, um, and, like, I can turn, like, my recognition is still not that great. I'd probably say, like, yeah, about maybe like 120, a little less, something like that. Oh, this will be a routine. Oops, that was both. How often can you show it to the people? God dang it. Uh, how do you practice three weeks cube three by three? Uh, I mean, I'm definitely not something that someone you should ask about that. Like, I'm not good at three by three. I don't know anything. I'm like really bad at using, I'm really good at using a bad method. Like, I just know pure PLL, OLL, and F2L, and I can just do it really fast because it's really easy to do it without messing up because it's so simple. But I'd ask, like, practicing 3R3 is not something I'm a master at by any means. Although I still would like to get a sub 7 average, or sub 8 average official, which I think should be happening pretty soon. I keep getting a lot closer. I love 7 by 7 with a passion, my best time is 7.1, 7 .1. 7.10 I'm assuming. Um, yeah, I mean, well, everyone's best time, like, my best time used to be 30 minutes. Like, I remember being at, like, lunch in high school and trying to do a 7 by 7 solve before, like, lunch was over, which, I mean, like, it takes a while to get, to practice a lot. You just gotta, you always gotta practice. And, like, this is back when, like, and, like, you're lucky now because you didn't have to, you don't have to get fast on big cube, on V cubes. Which are like awful. You get like straight up start with like your Yushin cubes, uh, which is pretty nice. On a scale of one to ten, how do you rate Superior as zero? It's awful. How do you set up your Yushin 5x5? Five five? Um, that's a good question, actually. I accidentally re... I cleaned it out and reset it up the other day. Um, so, really what you have to do is the Yushin 5 actually doesn't corner cut that well unless it's, like, fairly loose. Um, which, like, if it's fairly loose, then it'll, like, pop on you or... Well, no, it'll pop, like, you'll get more lockouts, but... So what I did is I loosened it a fairly decent amount, and then I put a bunch of Traxxas 50k in it to slow it down. And then if you do it right, like you get this really nice, like controllable feeling. Uh, it still doesn't even lock up too much. Like I haven't, I didn't have any lockups yesterday at all. Uh, it turns really nicely. I really like it. Uh, like my tensions are something like this. I guess you can something like this. So, and then Traxxas 50k. And if it's feeling a little slow, you could throw in some Maru, but I wouldn't do DNM just because DNM sticks around for a long time, and if you put too much in, that's too fast. Oh yeah, I should probably, I guess I could do a solve on this. Alright, 46, it's my new, uh, it's the new gold standard. Eight seconds. Well, that was lucky. 
Whoa, that was the lucky second center. And I forgot how to do centers. Whoa. Okay. So I got really lucky on that second center, and then I fumbled around for like I don't know, like 20 minutes looking for the third center. So that'll I still probably cancel out even more. Like that was bad. That's what I'm saying. Ooh, baby, that's that slow. Ah, uh, <sighs> have you ever broken your single mean of three in AO five PBs in the same average of five? Uh, yeah, I mean it's pretty common because you only need one extra solve to have a really good average of five if you have a good mean of three. I can hear the music you're listening to. I'm not. There's no. There's no music. I don't have headphones in, so that didn't make sense. Uh, I was pretty normal. Uh, I got an X cross there, so I guess that was lucky. You two do first board. How do you feel? I got all the comments and Chris in the background for your 8.13 official Rubik's Cube average. I mean, no one is being distracting at that average, so whatever. Um, Just talking, distracting you, slow you down. Yeah, if I'm like thinking about what I'm saying sometimes, um, I am probably not that great. Hi, hi Ed. I'm so glad you found this. Have you ever broken your mean of three twice in the same average with only one solve in common? No, that would be very difficult. Um, and I think, no, no, I definitely have not. Eight seconds. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, never mind. I got lucky. Ah, that wasn't too great. Uh, oh my god. And I'm not sure you're my number two fan. My number. There are a lot of people that are big fans. What method do I use on two by two? Uh, uh, layer by layer, and then I try and hope I get a PLL skip, which is why I have a two point eight official average because I got three PLL skips in the same average, and that's why two by two is really stupid because you can be me and get a two and get a two average. Just a dummy man. Dummy man. Eight seconds.
Uh. Oops. What if G came out with an 8x8? I mean, I don't, I don't know. Then they'd have an 8x8. Crazy. Like, I don't, I don't want really to do 8x8, so I don't really care too much. Try doing Yao 5 right now. Uh, okay. Tensions. Uh, if you rewind the video like 5 10 minutes, I talk about the tensions in the loop. Alright, Yao 5. I think I've broken a minute with Yao 5 before. I'm not sure though. I'm very bad at it. Oops. As you can tell, even my like first two centers are worse than my Yao 5, which is not logical. Okay, now I get to the nightmare of All right, I got a pair of like two of these. Screwed that up. Like I don't know how these. The problem with the Yao Five me is I don't know how the last two edge. They like you need modified last two edge algorithms, and I don't know them all. One fourteen. I mean that's like awful. Mo you fifteen by fifteen. Um, Yushin's making a seventeen by seventeen. So, gotcha there. I don't know. You like five by five or seven by seven more? Definitely five by five. Even though I've had. Never had any world records on it, but yeah, I like five by five more. Seven by seven is kind of long, um, even though I guess I'm better Eight at seconds. it. But... Twelve seconds. last two uh last four edge case i think i skipped i only did like two uh, like sets of moves i think and i only got 52 oops uh this solves me 52 8 Ooh, almost that's pretty accurate um oh yeah i guess it's a little too delayed um is that a 10 by 10 where wait what i can't even see it this is a 7 by 7. Do you know a jazz pianist? Um, I know there's a guy named Kevin Hayes who is a jazz pianist. He's stealing my Google results. Although I guess since he's older than me, I'm really stealing his Google results, but you know, whatever. Not 49. Red KB should try to hold his 17 by 17 UWR. 
I mean, I think the most impressive part of that unofficial world record is that you sat in one session and timed 17 by 17 salt. So, yeah, you can keep that one. How much will a 17 by 17 cost? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I'm not involved in charge of that. So, who are some of your closest friends in the Cuban community? Uh, David Adams, Weston Mizumoto, Anthony Brooks, Eric Lineback. Mots, Felix, Pleskovich. Um, we've all been competing nationally, internationally for like years now, so I know them all pretty well. I've met like I met Mats and Felix at World Champs 2011 in Bangkok. Uh, so I've known them for like a really long time. Although I only see them like once a year, obviously, is they don't go to like American comps. Um, like David Adams, Western is a two and. Uh, Anthony, they all go, they all come to like a lot of American towns with me. Um, there are, but all coming to the Vancouver Open in a few weeks, which is going to be exciting. I'm pretty pumped about that. Oops, that was a big mistake. Oh no, forgot, find a website for, so what is the YouTube of the guy who modded his Yushin 7? I mean, his name's Brennan Balance, uh, go find him on, like, go, he's world champ in 2009, so, hopefully not over $400, um, well, like, the Mogi 13 by 13 costs $300, and the 17 by 17 is exponentially more Expensive. I, I don't set prices, so I don't know, but like I feel like four hundred dollars wouldn't be outrageous to ask, just because of how much, like the hardware itself, like the plastic itself is not like it's got to be expensive in general. Like it's a huge thing. So, oh boy, I just registered for Lexington, Massachusetts comp. Not sure if I'm gonna go, but I needed to save a spot because might be going yeah might be going to uh, Massachusetts comp my life goal is to meet you that's pretty easy to go to worlds or nationals if you sold your cubes how much would each one cost I mean the ones that like I have like like the my current competition ones like oh, I wouldn't sell them like they're very hard to replace um my like, the ones, like, a lot of my cubes, like, if I don't use them, I'd probably just sell them for whatever, like, a pretty normal price. On um, big cubes, I do slow solves or practice normally. I definitely, uh, I definitely do both. Like, slow solving is a good way to kind of identify what your weaknesses are and figure out how fast you can turn versus how fast you are turning. Um, but I do both. How much slower do you say solving cubes is underwater compared to above water? Um... I mean, it's not that much slower. It doesn't feel too weird to solve cubes underwater. In the underwater videos I've done, I was using like $3 cubes, so those were kind of crap. So those were a little slower, but I also was trying to go like really smooth to conserve like oxygen. But um, maybe like 20%, which is still a lot, I guess. Yushin or Bo Chuang GT. Okay, I don't get the hyper on the Bo Chuang at all. The Bo Chuang was a piece of crap. Like, I honestly think everyone that thought it was a good cube, like, it was, it felt like it was going to be good, but it wasn't. It was just an awful cube. And, but honestly, like, it's, like, oh, God, it's just, it was not good. It, like, it felt like it, it just felt smooth, but it wasn't actually good for speed solving. Um, yeah, I really don't like that cube at all. The new mode you keep is fine. It's, like, pretty solid. Uh, you can actually do good times on it. I just don't like it as much as the Yushin. But yeah, the Boshuang was a uh, god disaster, and I could not figure out for the life of me why everyone recommended it so highly. Oops, that was bad. Oops, fifty-three. Oh, close. The cubing wizard's pretty uh. Could you do a 7x7 seven seven underwater? Probably not. That uh, would take, what, two and a half minutes plus the underwater time, so at least three minutes. 
And uh, the video, the current underwater world record video is like two minutes and I could barely hold it there. So definitely not. All right, this one's gonna be a 49. Oh, my 49, I really am at 57. Oops. Ah, uh, that was kind of bad. 56, 9, mean, man, that's like really slow. What year is this? I'll do some uh, high quality 3x3, three three, that's my best unit. When will you get the prototype 5x5? Five five? Uh, very soon. Um, I, like, within a couple weeks, I think. Uh, Wu Shuang or Yushin? I mean, I've made videos on this, so I definitely like the Yushin better. I don't, like, the Wuchuang is a good cube. Um, you can definitely get good times on it. I just don't personally like it that much. I think the Yushin's, like, faster. The Wuchuang compromises its speed in order to be stable, and, like, I don't need that. I can just control the Yushin, and it's much faster, so uh -huh. that means it's better. Your main 4x4 or the Yushin Blue? Uh, yeah, I really like it. Yushin Blue Magnetic from the Cubicle Labs. Uh, I really like it. Great cube. Phil sent it to me. Um, Chris Tran is some. Chris Tran's a madman. Puts magnets in everything. You should do some 6x6. What would you do if I broke your underwater world record? Says underwater cuber. Uh, probably nothing. I mean, it's just kind of like a gimmicky world record. It was mostly just for uh, the YouTube glory, you know? I'm much more attached to uh, like real world records. Hey! Oh, there we go. Uh, this is a J GTS V2, a Waylon GTS V2 magnetic. Not the, the regular version, not the light version. That was a magnetic fidget spinner. Is the Huachuang still viable? I mean, no. Like, that's what... The Huachuang is what I used in 2015 to set to win or to get second at Worlds? Yeah. Um, I mean, no. There's... Moyu's made... Like, the new Moyu cube is, like, definitely better than it. So, if you even if you're sticking with Moyu, like, they have a better cube. And the Yushin's better than it also, so it's not viable. Is the video really out of sync? Only like one person is... I don't think it should be. The audio delay is still set up. I don't think it should be. What is Twist the Web? I'm not even sure what Twist the Web is. Do you use Wuji or Huanlong? I use the Huanlong 7. Um, it's pretty good. It's a lot, pretty fast. The Wuji's a little too crispy and sluggish for my taste, and it breaks, so. Could you possibly do a six underwater? Yeah, definitely, I just had to get lucky, so. Let's do twist the, I don't know what twist the web is. All right, I'm gonna stay on for like probably 10 more minutes. It's been almost an hour, so if you have any like burning questions, I'll do a couple. Purple video last. 
Uh, I don't compete in blindfolded. Um, I definitely don't compete in the blindfolded events. Um, I think it's I I used to do it. I have like an official two and a half minutes, but it's uh like not something I practice, and so I don't do it. Um, do you think the magnetic cubes are worth the price? I'm not gonna comment on economics, but. Like if you you're paying for the fact that someone's gonna do it for you and they do a good job, so I I think they're reasonably priced, that's to say the least. But worth the price is gonna be up to you and whether or not you like magnetic cubes and like if for some reason you don't like them, then no, it's not worth the price. But if you really like them, then you can't put a price on a good cube. All right, let's see if I can get a good solve here. Oh, whoops. Solving centers flipped, so let's remember at the end to solve them back. Which isn't too big of a deal, but ideally you wouldn't want to do that. Oh man, 40, okay, never mind. 44 centers is like... Are you going to Northwest Champs? Uh, yeah, definitely going to Northwest Champs. It'll be super fun. Two days, all the events, two rounds of big cubes, absolutely. How do I get sponsored? Uh, get really fast slash have a big YouTube channel. I mean, companies will sponsor you based on like the market you can attract. So speed and like publicity is the entire thing there. Okay. You should try an Aushi with Yushin Red Springs. The Aushi's old. No. Um, yeah, I used the Aushi like, what, last 2015 to win? Yeah, I used the Aushi in 2015 to win Worlds. And it was like, I was good with them. It was like the best queue out, but that was like two years ago. So naturally, if it came out two years ago, it's probably not still the best. Although I guess Fusion 5 has almost been out two years. I still use it. Although I'm about to swap out for the new prototype, so... I guess it's been, it hasn't been quite two years since the Fusion 5 came out and it's about to be replaced. Yeesh, not a good solve. Oh man, over 140. That's uh, that's not too, that's not too good. Uh, I don't feel like doing seven by seven. It takes too long, and I'm lazy. Can you tell who you learn from for cubes? Uh, that's a lot. Of mm. uh, I'm probably coming to a competition in California. Uh, pretty soon. I don't know. It depends. I might come. They're supposed to be one, two at the end of June that I might come to. Depends on the schedule. So most six by six solves I've done in one day. Probably like two hundred. I don't know. That sounds about right. I mean, two hundred's not that many. It's just a lot. But why no good Yushin three? Uh, they're working on it. It'll be out. Soonish? I'm not sure. I'm not too involved in the 3x3 three three process as I'm mostly doing big cube stuff. Advanced 6x6 six six last two centers, please. I mean, I kind of went over that a bit. I mean, there'll be some more advanced stuff in the uh, super advanced tutorial. But honestly, it's pretty intuitive until then. 
What timer do I use? Uh, I'm using CS timer. It's pretty good. It's a CS timer on that. That's it. Um, you know, I'll do another one of these and answer a couple more questions. Then I'll probably call it. I don't like that scramble. We're gonna, I'm gonna, if I'm gonna finish here, I gotta, gotta cheat and give myself a good scramble. Okay. Eh, this one I'll do. Eight seconds. Oh boy, this is bad. This is very bad. Ooh, wee. Ooh, wee. That's bad. Oh well. Um, do you think it's better to pick events or do a wide variety of events? I mean, I do like, I when I started I did like most of the events, like it's good to kind of try everything out at the very least. If you really want to be competitive in something, it's like, in like world class, it's probably better to focus on one specific thing, but there's nothing wrong with doing everything. Would you use a Chi Moyu Cube if you found it better than Yushin? Yeah, I'm not going to compromise my like performance just because it's a Yushin product, but Yushin tends to make cubes that fit my turning style, so like, especially since I'm pretty involved in the design process now, like it'd be pretty weird if I helped design something and I didn't like it. <laughs> uh, do you usually socialize with people comps or go on your own? I mean, bigger comps, there's always like people I've known for a while there, but some of the locals I kind of do on my own. All right, it's been an hour. Uh, let's see, is there anything? Yeah, I, I got two weekends off. In three weeks, I'll be at Vancouver and then Snowco. Then another week off. Then I leave for uh, Nationals and Worlds. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do a 6x6 six six solve. It's not trash. And then turn it off. Oh, wow. These are nice first centers. Wow. I didn't even set this up. Eight
Ooh, man, this is also bad. Oh, well. Oops. That was, yeah. Oh, well. Um, yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, I guess. Uh, I might do one of these in a few weeks or something before Worlds, but uh, yep. All right.